Hello everyone, welcome to another session of the PureWell Training Academy. My name is Josh Hoffman, I'm a clinical specialist here and I'll be your host for this module. We are going to cover frequently asked questions. Um, it's very important to know how to handle these questions and handle objections. However, this one question we are going to dedicate a whole module to because it's really important and we want you to have an understanding of not only why the answer is this, but how to answer this question, okay? Now, a question that we get all of the time and you can expect yourselves to get it as well is, will I pass a drug test if I take your products? Now, a lot of people will just come right out and say, absolutely, yes, no problem, you will. But remember, PureWell uses a full spectrum hemp CBD product that contains THC. The permissible legal limit is 0.3, three tenths of 1%. That's what's in our product, so there's nothing illegal about that. But it's a legitimate question, and the best way to answer this question goes like this. You should not, because it is such a nominal amount. But there's an outside chance that somebody might. The same way that, let's say somebody loves poppy seed bagels, and they just overindulge on them that could sometimes pop a false positive on a test depending on the sensitivity of that test. Now, if you took somebody like a marijuana smoker and you tested them and you looked at that threshold where THC becomes illegal and over the limit, it's going to be night and day difference between a CBD user, right, low, low, low THC, and a marijuana user, high THC. But the point is this, everybody's metabolism and body is different. We've been doing this for a long time. I have never had somebody come up to me and say, Josh, I failed the drug test. And I used myself as a guinea pig, okay? Because I'm a product of my product. I wanted to know if I use these products over a long period of time, would I fail a drug test? So I used CBD for a month and I was using about 50 milligrams a day. Um, at the end of a month, I went to Walgreens. I purchased a drug test kit. I brought that home. I urinated in a little cup, I put the little piece of paper in there, and I passed with flying colors. I was clean as a whistle. That's my experience. I can't say that that's this person's experience, that person's experience, that person's experience. And the truth is, if somebody is really, really hesitant to use a full spectrum product because they feel that they may fail a drug test, use topicals, right? Your lotions or the salves because they're gonna penetrate into the skin but they're not going to get systemic into the bloodstream. So you have absolutely nothing to worry about if you use a topical. But even if we use our capsules and our tinctures, okay, here's what I wanna impress upon you. Three tenths of 1% is so nominal that it would be such an outside chance of it showing up on a drug test, okay? But again, we cannot make the claim that you're gonna pass drug tests 100% guaranteed every time. Here's what I can tell you. Again, if you have a hesitancy, go use the product, test yourself and see. Let's say you fail. Unlike marijuana, CBD only takes about 72 hours to get out of the body, even if there's a little THC in it. Three days and it's out of your body. So discontinue use, test yourself again, and you'll see that you probably pass that now. And if not, another day or two down the road, you will. But we have never had somebody come back to us in our experience of doing this and say, you told me about the drug test, you told me that there's an outside chance, and I failed. Nobody that we know has ever failed. But that's not to say that it can happen down the road. Here is the last thing I wanna stress about this important question. It leads back to the importance of certificates of analysis or third-party lab testing. Listen, here's the truth, and I'm telling you this. In the very, very small scenarios where I've heard of people using a CBD product and failing a drug test, it's because the product was not tested for THC, and it had way over the legal permissible limit of three-tenths of 1%. That's why it showed up on their drug test. That's why they failed. Well, as you know, PureWell is a completely transparent company. We do certificates of analysis or third-party lab testing on all of our products, every single batch of hemp used 
to formulate our products each time the batch changes. And we don't just do a cannabinoid profile test that shows the amount of THC. It's important to know whether or not you're selling a legal product or an illegal product, right? Goes back to that THC level. But we test for uh, mycotoxins, pesticides, residual solvents, mold. So a complete, what they call full panel certificate of analysis on all of our tests. So going back to that question about whether or not you fail a drug test, you should not, very small outside chance that you might, but now you know ways that you can combat it. You can go take your own drug test or the salves you can use in lieu of a, maybe a tincture or a capsule that you would ingest.